And again, just from uh, some of the pictures from Twitter in the last uh, few days, if you look at the population pyramid for Iran, you have a huge demographic, the largest proportion of young people in their teens and 20s of any country in the world with access to information, secular information as well. And uh, this is fueling a huge social movement in Iran. It's really uh, just begun. Um, and we're all just watching this thing play out right now. It's quite extraordinary. So, you put all that together, and let me uh, 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 close with what does all this mean for the environment? Well, I think there's, we, we have an opportunity now to harness the power of the people of the world to tackle this problem if we do it right. Now, Al Gore's got the Alliance for Climate P Protection. Mark Twain famously said about the weather, Everybody's talking about it. Nobody's doing anything about it. If you think about it, we need to do something about the weather. This is not about buying a Prius, although that may be a good thing to do. We need to industrialize the planet. And how much time do we have? A few decades to do that. This is going to require every institution and society involved. It will require re regulation. But maybe for the first time in history, there will be a global movement on the planet where everyone is on the same side. The world has been mobilized before around world wars, but we were on different sides. Could it be possible to create a movement where we're all on the same side? Well, uh, just last week there was a big conference in New York called the X Prize, and Progressive Insurance, the CEO, stood up and announced a $10 million X Prize um, to create a new uh, generation, super efficient uh, 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 automobiles. There are X prizes now to do all kinds of things. It turns out that incentivized collaboration with something as odd sounding as a prize or a competition can lead to huge change and mobilize massive resources. The reason that we can do this now that we couldn't before is because we have the web. We all can share this giant global computer and collaborate around that. The Eco Commons patent, this was created by IBM in collaboration um, with the World Business Council for Sustainable Development. Actually, um, and IBM is the, is the leading earner of US patents for the past 15 years. Uh, Nokia is involved, Pitney Bowes, Sony, and they're releasing a portfolio of dozens of innovative and environmentally responsible patents into the public domain. Possible now because we have the web. Um, this is something called the Green Exchange. And um, it's being driven right now largely by Nike and by Best Buy. And the idea is that just like it makes sense to place certain things in the commons like operating system software, it's called Linux, or like an encyclopedia, it's called Wikipedia. It makes sense to place intellectual property having to do with the environment into the commons as well, at least some of it. For sure that IP that doesn't contribute to competitive advantage of any given company, and arguably IP that does. So Nike, when it comes up with a great business process that might reduce carbon, for example, places that in the commons in this green exchange so all companies can benefit from it. Again, this is possible because we have the web. And the, the theory, why would Nike do this? Well, the idea is that business can't succeed in a world that's failing. And a rising tide can lift all boats. This is amazing. Hot Dish on Facebook. <laughs> There's so many uh, groups on Facebook that are organizing now, but Hot Dish is a new um, web page that allows Facebook members to share and post environmental stories and to document changes they've made to fight climate change, such as switching to efficient light bulbs, um, uh, uh, composting, and so on. Good Guide. Again, people self-organizing, collaborating, 
sharing information. This is the world's largest and most reliable source of information on health, environmental and social impacts of products in your home. So you could find safe, healthy, green uh, products for you and your family. You can browse over 70,000 different toys uh, or personal care uh, products to see what's really beneath the label. Uh, people collaborate with each other, they share knowledge, expert advice is there, and so on. Uh, Zero Footprint. Uh, this is a group of companies. The big one is Zero Footprint Not for Profit. It was founded in 1905. And the aim is to use technology uh, to engage communities around climate change and to pursue opportunities that uphold values of economic development, uh, managing uh, risk, uh, research, and, and advocacy. Uh, one of the parts of uh, Zero Footprint is something called Zero F Footprint Carbon. And uh, it was uh, created in 2008. It sources and develops blue chip carbon offsetting projects that meet uh, uh, rigorous industry standards. You should all join me in Energyville. So this is Tapscott Town in Energyville. It's basically a virtual town where I get to make a whole bunch of choices about how this town is going to operate. And it's kind of a competition. So I've got to go there and sort out a, a portfolio of energy sources. And I'm going to keep my uh, little utopia running in a green way through uh, the year 2030. Every little decision that I make has an environmental and energy impact, and a security one uh, as well. And it's kind of like a game, and at the end of the game, players can compare who, who was the best at running a town to ensure energy efficiency. Just a, a couple more here. Katrina, again, the authorities responded really badly. And so people self-organized around Katrina. So uh, there'd be a little bubble. A woman in second floor of house in wheelchair, water eight feet and rising, 2.22 p.m. Here's the little bubble. And lives were saved. Again, a global platform enabling people to self-organize and to do good things, basically. Now Google's gotten the action big time with Google Earth and Google Oceans. Um, this is allowing users basically to uh, helicopter down underwater and to uh, swim around uh, under volcanoes, watch videos about exotic marine life, uh, read about shipwrecks, and also learn about the environmental impact on our oceans. And the oceans, of course, cover more than 70% of the planet and they uh, contain 80% of all life, yet we've, yet we've uh, only explored about 5% of the ocean. So this is enabling people to self-organize to contribute data. So when you go diving somewhere, you could actually contribute uh, some data to Google Earth. So um, uh, th this would uh, just be an example of, uh, of uh, Google o o Oceans. So I'm going to uh, uh, just leave it there, and uh, we have a great uh, panel. But ju just to summarize, the new web is different than the web of the dot-com period. We have a new generation of young people that have a very strong sense of integrity, by the way. They care a lot. Youth volunteering in high school and university students around the world is at an all-time high. And political activity uh, is now subsumed um, civic activity, they just elected their first president of the United States. This is a powerful force. They're coming together into a social movement and they're creating an opportunity to harness the energy of millions, hundreds of millions of people where we'll all be on the same side to, uh, to address these problems. Uh, th this is a whole new paradigm, basically, because of the new media. It's a new mental model in thinking about how we attack these problems. And I'm hopeful that at this conference, the, the, the importance of the internet and the new media will really sink in for everyone, because this is the platform that we have now to tackle this issue. Thank you very much.